Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making a custom order resin clock. I'm using an MDF board, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is painting it black with acrylic paint. I am going to be using black pigmented resin for this clock, but I just wanted to have this base coat just in case if the resin was a little bit transparent. I allow the paint to dry and then I flip the MDF board over to the other side to add some liquid latex. The liquid latex will protect the back side of the MDF board so that when I pour resin and if any drips over the side, it won't cure onto the back side but it will easily come off with the liquid latex the next day. I had forgotten to put the liquid latex in the center which is quite important so I came back to do that. And by now, as you can see, the liquid latex that I had put around the edges has dried. I wait about half an hour for the liquid latex to be dry enough that I can turn the MDF board around and I start to mix my part A and part B resin together. Then I separate my resin into smaller cups to add in my pigments and I'm using a black pigment by Resin Pro's Color Fun Deluxe. As always, I'll have product links in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that you see in this video, be sure to check that out. I poured a little drop on the MDF board to check the opacity, and then I start pouring the rest. And I use a silicone makeup brush to help spread. Black pigmented resin is kind of funny to work with because as you can see it's very reflective like a mirror so you can see me in the reflection wearing my full face respirator mask and these two little straps which adjust the mask but since my head is down they stick out kind of looking like alien antennas so in this video you get to actually watch me work. And I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. I'm going to be using small black pebbles and I just pour some into the palm of my hand and add them to each side of the MDF board. And I use a wooden stick to help adjust their placement. And I decided to add some broken glass and mirror pieces for a little extra shine. So again, I just poured some into the palm of my hand and sprinkled them in the area where the rocks are. And again, I used the wooden stick to help adjust their placement. Then I decided to add a little bit of silver detail, so I'm mixing in some silver metallic powder by Aerodrone, and I just added some into the leftover black pigmented resin in my cup. And again, I used a wooden stick to drag the now silver pigmented resin through the black pigmented resin. I came back the next day to add a top coat and this step isn't entirely necessary but sometimes there can be a little bit of a film on the resin so the best way to get rid of this is just to do another layer. And now I'll be pouring into these molds which will be the stand for the clock. It's also going to be black, so I added the same black pigment by Resin Pro and mixed in a little bit of Deepon's Nighthawk Black Pearl. After I poured into the molds, I went around the edges with a thin wooden stick because sometimes air bubbles can get trapped in small crevices, so by dragging the wooden stick, it will help lift them up.
and here I am the next day demolding them. and they just pop into place. And now I'll be removing the liquid latex from the soon to be clock. There are a few drops of resin on the liquid latex and I just pulled the liquid latex off and most of the drops come off with it. For the drops that didn't come off with the liquid latex, I use a large X-Acto knife and they very easily come off. Now I'm going to add in the mechanism. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.